For today's stitch challenge, we're going to be working on the star stitch. And the star stitch will be laid right here on the hat. It's kind of like little floral accents here. We'll be using six strand embroidery floss, any type of thread, any color. And we will be using 161 and we'll be using um, either three strands or six strands, depending on what type of width you want to get on those stitches. Then we'll be adding a little accent color of some satin floss, um, S336. Once again, you don't have to use satin floss. You can use any other color. Definitely just try to get one that's either lighter or darker, but the same type of hue or not. Do whatever you want. The star stitch has a bunch of different steps. So I've kind of drawn out a little diagram of them. What you'll have is you'll come up from A to B and then C to D. So you'll have yourself a little cross. Then you'll be doing two diagonals, E to F and then G to H. So you'll have like this kind of snowflake pattern. And then you'll be taking the satin floss and you'll be coming up in between, not this far out like the rest, but up here, you'll go I to J and then K to L to give you that kind of little snowflake with a little ribbon passing through it that someone else was saying in the live stream. That's very smart. So take your thread and come up. Now, because this is gonna be going along the little seam of the hat here, it's best not to just lay them all the same. You wanna make sure they kind of curve. So definitely curving your hoop as you go. So that way your first stitch is laying vertical with the top of the hat. First step, you take A to B. Crossed. C to D. G to H. To F. You're gonna go I, which is here between the diagonal, the first diagonal and the first straight stitch. Go from here to here, and then here to here. And that's it. You just keep going along the bottom of the hat, making sure that they kind of get a little smaller as they get to here, these little peaked corners, kind of like this, a little smaller here, and then it slowly kind of gets bigger and then gets smaller again. Definitely what works best, I found, is to get all of your first few steps done with one type of floss, and then the second part of it, do that step last. So get your whole row of star stitches done with the six strands of embroidery floss and then come back through with a satin stitch to do the last step. I found that makes it a lot easier than having to constantly keep threading your needle. And there you have it, guys, a star stitch. Definitely can play around with different types of thread, different widths. This is a bunch of your three strands here and these are a bunch of the six strands. Looks more bulky up here versus being more thin here. And with that, your hat is complete love how it turned out and that's it for today guys the star stitch uh, make sure uh, that you spend some time filling that in today uh, tomorrow we're going to be moving on to our sweater here and we're going to be doing the smyrna cross with some tapestry wool so that'll be a lot of fun uh if you haven't gotten your supplies yet there's still time um, head on over to dmc and use the promo code gula xdmc uh, to get yourself some supplies um, and then i'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow